Listen, good morning to you. <clears throat> we are up and about uh, in the presence of the Lord and also we are happy to be up and about. Uh, every day you get up, what we need to do is say, I will plan as the Lord will because he it is who sustains us. Uh, now, I look at Joshua chapter 1, right? And I am talking about trained to take over. It says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord speak unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan. But I want to get to a text, uh, verse 7. It says, uh, God is talking to Joshua, who is taking over from Moses, who is dead. Uh, verse 7 of Joshua chapter 1 says, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Now, background into this is that Joshua understudied Moses for a major part of his lifetime. Joshua is always with Moses. And it seems to me uh, that God definitely told Moses something. I didn't read that. Eh? I didn't read that. Uh, but the kind of closeness that Moses had with God, I have to conclude that God told Moses that Joshua is the man for the job. you this big leader, political leader Moses. You led the children out of Egypt, right, into freedom, and you're trekking them through uh, the wilderness. But Moses, it's dangerous for you to do it all by yourself. Train somebody. So Joshua is with Moses all the time. There's a message in that for us, you know. Church leaders, heads of household, there's a message in that for us that simply says, listen, power is going to change hands someday. Wealth is going to change hands someday. Your popularity, your fame, etc., uh, you will have to walk away from it. However, uh, it is easier for the people you are leading, like your household, uh, like a church community, it is easier for the people who you are leading to accept the next person if over the years they notice that you have been spending quality time guiding that individual. But here the point I like about God talking to uh, Joshua. You know, when there's a charismatic leader, outstanding dynamic leader, and he moves off the scene, it's not easy for you to walk in that person's shoe, you know. No, it's not easy. So here is where God comes in, spiritual leadership. God says to Joshua, don't be afraid. Be strong. I am with you. And listen to how he puts it. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And in verse 7, uh, God promises Joshua, who, is who has taken over, from Moses, he promises him prosperity. He says, but remember the condition. If you want prosperity, uh, the book of the law, what Moses was following, the law, you must follow it also. Now leaders and those who uh, have taken over and will take over in the future, even heads of households, uh, first child or children, etc., and even world leaders, remember uh, that you will prosper if you obey God's law. Observe and obey God's law. And then you will have peace of mind because nothing is better and brings greater peace of mind and personal prosperity than following God's law. Don't throw away God's law. Follow God's law. That is what God said to Joshua will bring him peace and will bring him prosperity. As he was with Moses and Moses following the law, Joshua, you follow the law also. Our God and Father, 
we speak about transition and a smooth handing over. And you, God, you definitely encouraged Joshua and showed him that just as I was with Moses, who kept the law, Joshua, you will prosper. Just be strong and keep the law also. Father, in this modern day and age when individuals want to get rid of your law, encourage someone to keep your law so that personal peace and prosperity can come their way. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Should I fear by day and by night? His presence is there. He is my salvation from sorrow and sin. This blessed persuasion the Spirit brings in. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day. Jesus forever.